Hello, hello, and welcome, my Taurus Earth sign friends. I swear, Lala is on the table again, and I have not coached her. Lala has her own mind. Trust you that. So, I don't know what's going on back to back for February. My little kitty has shown up. In the old house, she used to show up a lot because I had a, uh, I used to film in a big kitchen and she'd pop up, but she knows with the candles so close, I don't like her on this, or I don't welcome her on this table, but uh, she's here, so I'm going to try to work with her for a moment, but welcome, welcome, Taurus, and I do want to say that uh, it's been Empress Power times five, uh, you're the last uh, signs of the earth signs and um, you're uh, uh, the season is spring okay Lala I'm going to say thank you for coming and I'm going to just put you in that corner okay you stay you want to stay that's good but you stay here okay stay okay um <laughs> so say cats do what they want Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, see, because now, okay, my darling, I'm going to have to put you down because now your tail might get into the candle. We don't need a little cat burn going on. <laughs> okay, thanks, uh, my dears. But, um, uh, yes, so, so I'm looking forward to the readings, but also we've had balance come out a couple of times. And I do want to introduce um, a new deck that I'm working with called the Lover's Path Tarot, and um, these are some of the archetypes. For example, Isis and Osiris. Isis and Osiris are the major kind of love, six, and then Cleopatra and Caesar. Uh, Cleopatra is the Empress, number three, planet Venus there. Uh, King Arthur and Guinevere represent the power of the Emperor which the emperor also came through, both as um, king uh, uh, representing planet Neptune and for the Pisces, and a big dragon for um, the dragon lord came through, the emperor. Uh, my lord, my mind just went... Okay, and then the magician here is the love of Merlin, and Vivian had for Merlin. Okay. But you can understand the vibe about this new deck. And uh, so let me just stick the cards all back in here. But yes, the Empress came through four times via the Angel Tarot deck, which is other next deck I'm working with. And, um, and it, it just has been so intriguing, you know, just so intriguing. And one empress came through uh, the lover's path tarot. So five, so you know, that's that love shine we're trying to gain. And here we have this February with the lunar new year coming for this um, new moon. Uh, the Chinese year of the monkeys, their lunar new year begins February 8th, which coincides with the new moon in Aquarius coming through. And then the next day we have Mardi Gras view. You guys like that New Orleans vibe and all that, you know, carnival kind of feel is going on. And then for the Catholics, we have Ash Wednesday on the 10th. And then Valentine's weekend, Valentine's month, call it what you like. But uh, it's uh, coming Sunday the 14th. And then we have this full moon um, on February 22nd, 2, 2, 2. And that full moon's in Virgo and it's about balance and and just like getting ready for your aligning you know so it's it's just coming in dynamically so well and uh i think it's so grand okay all right so yes so we're working with the taurus earth sign so let's see for you taurus what's going on uh because we're closing down with the earth signs. And what I chose to also work with, because we had, you know, Venus in La Casa so much here with the Empress power and the Emperor coming through twice, that, you know, cohesive soul kind of 
true love connection and especially with the Valentine's vibe for this February I chose to also bring out um, the true love tarot because love is totally an earthbound uh, how do you call it right vibration right uh, that can be manipulated too so but let's see what the true love has to come through regarding um, the closing with the earth signs okay and then I also have this new uh, deck oh and this balance came through balance came out I think like three four times by two different uh, archangels Zachiel was came out twice with balance I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment okay all right, now I'm kind of trying to film these videos a little early, but I hope you can see um, the um, sun is giving me the glare here. But that's okay. We're talking about balance, and we know we talk about that a lot. But this card came from, I'll put it back in the deck, because it came out twice now, so we got to pay attention. But uh comes from a new oracle that I'm also working with, Lessons lesson cards he calls it James von Prague the soul's journey because we want to start tapping you know the wisdom of our souls how to connect you know straight to the to the light and it's James von Prague and he's an internationally renowned best New York Times best-selling author he, he um, works with many celebrities he's on television a lot so but anyway I've been liking his cards and I'm just pulling one for each zodiac sign uh, in case this is your first uh, watch uh, for the month of February uh, 2016 okay all right so why don't we just get comfortable uh, where you are in whether you're sitting or you know lying down or yoga okay first card so let me just okay let me turn on this incense I didn't want to turn it on when uh, the little kitty was sitting there so but I hope everyone is starting uh, February on a new you know new attitude kind of thing new attitude of gratitude that we're you know we're still on this planet so breathing and uh, every breath we take is an important one right okay did I I think it's going Okay, so let's take a deep breath. Why don't we? It helps me actually to um, focus on what I have to do. So let's take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Controlled breathing. Another deep breath, inhale. Okay, I believe we have the card. And we're starting with our lovely Taurus as the first earth sign, and then Virgo and then Capricorn will come to but many blessings to all uh, my new subscribers and viewers of old school watching thank you kindly um, and let's see if you uh, have Taurus in your chart or a loved one does child you're one of your children or you know one of your lovers <laughs> let's see what has to happen and uh, with the theme of love on the table for this uh, Valentine's month of 2016 February. Well, we like this. The magician is here. The major kind of magician comes through. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, Archangel Raziel, you are ready. Well, we were just saying that um, we were coming through like for February now, for 2016, the whole year to come. But now it's like people are getting ready. You know, like people are cleaning out closets, are looking around little corners where that dust ball is sitting and wondering what's sitting there. <laughs> but isn't that fabulous? You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. There we are. You are ready. Exclamation mark. That's awesome. And that's what we want. We all want to become our own magicians, okay? And it starts with, you know, working with as the alchemist also. And, of course, working with the elements, the earth, air, fire, water. Well, we have to put Archangel Raziel here in a standing up position at the time. Major Arcana right out of the, you know, gate for the Taurus vibration. And, you know, I love Taurus because, you know, you're ruled by Venus. <laughs> oh, my God. If, I think I've, not, I've used the word love and creative love and creative artistry, uh, I don't know, like 30 times now for this month of February. Renewal. Another major arcana card. Archangel Jeremiah. Review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. There, how, how wonderful that connection is, huh? From recognizing, yes, we're going to tap the magicians within. And then you, you recognize that there's judgment with whatever we do. Good magician, bad magician, you know. Light magician, dark magician. But there is a judgment. But, uh, so, you know, review, take everything. There, we're, everything's baby steps right now. Truly think things through. And, and, of course, of course, if you have family and children and a mate, you, you all are considered on this journey, okay, to awaken, you know, to an awareness that, yes, I mean, why don't we tap what we have within us? It's it's magical. Okay. All right. Well, two major arcana cards right out of the bat. I mean, you know, that says a lot to open up a reading as well. It's like they really, you know, they want us to go within, you know, to understand it's about going within. You know, and to, to, you know, we have to work, you know, because the number one is the fool, the initiate is starting his journey, right? We're starting our journey. Let's say 2016, we started the journey and boom, we meet the magician. Okay. And he wants you to think with, he wants you to think with logic. Okay. He wants you to think rational, but he knows that the mysteries are so vast. And then you meet the high priestess and she tells you, oh yeah, they're vast, but there's secrets until you know certain things. And then they reveal to you the secrets. Okay, so this is how it starts. But that to know that totally, even through the end of the journey, okay, this is judgment, you know, when usually your soul is being, uh, you know, kind of put on a little questioning <laughs> like the Egyptians did, wait with a feather to see. Did you share good light or dark light? I mean, that's kind of how it works, people. The Prince of Coins. And again, boy, if I, so, so much uh, resource, earth, money available. And here we're working with the earth signs. So it's just like, wow. I think every reading has had about bounty, okay? So now now you're in the uh, court, okay? You're the court card here, so 
you, you get to to hang out in the castle and and it's the young blood again and this is Perseus uh, again I I'm not familiar with this deck in that I don't know all the archetypes involved all these mythological um, you know people who have history behind them but we know that uh, as this young blood here you know there's success in finances finances with the coin and, and success that that you can share too you know and, and be creative with it but just you know stay on the right path you know don't don't deceive yourself about money okay cuz money comes and goes that, that's one thing you definitely let the universe bring you that kind of abundance and you can see it's been talking about it. let us bring it to you okay yes you have to have savvy you gotta be savvy with it can't throw it away but in the respect that they'll bring you more they'll, they want you to have more look of course they do because you're you're getting savvy about it and you will be the king of coins via your authentic self working it, being admired for working it. That's why, you know, people w admire people that have made it in a lot of ways uh, because they they respect that, right? So earn it, be authentic about it, share, you know, share for the kingdom for all, good vibrations. And he, he's a master. You know, the king is the mastery in, in everything, pretty much. But definitely on how he harvests his land, how he, his resources. It's, it's just awesome, awesome authority to follow. And, and it's kind of saying it, like, we have all this. You, you tap that magician within. And, and, and value the journey because you will be judged but again you know mother has this for you it, it's how the world works right <laughs> wow okay the builder woohoo twice I like it Taurus so you you have this young blood there's something in you and you're that bull. Yes, you are. <laughs> right? You go, go, go. And you have Venus with you. What a lovely pairing. But we'll have to read about the builder for sure. You know? And actually, um, your trump card is the Hierophant, too. So you respect tradition you respect that kind of wisdom you you like stability and if anything's more stability than this two two prince of coins you know working together so they can attain you know their their kingdom because they're thinking together you know two heads better than one and if it's only you as as the one just Keep going, what, doing what you're doing because you're going to succeed. Okay? And uh, and, you, and you're a listener too. Okay? And I love that too. So you can do anything you want. I love when I see the young blood. It just makes you say, yep. You know, and this is again about money, material, items. It's, you, you can afford whatever you want. You don't even have to think. Like anybody's going to hoochie on you because it's like, what? I earned it and planet Venus loves me. <laughs> right? Awesome. Strength. Wonderful. Understanding. Another major arcana card here. So really nice. Really nice. So we know, we know about that strength because it does take strength. It does. It takes it takes dynamic energy. No matter how young, 
or how rags to riches your story is or how genius you are or how you know ingenious you are it's all about having stamina to keep going even when you when people put you down or especially when people put you down you know what's that there's a Japanese proverb you know fall down seven get up eight you know you just keep going oh I like it I like it but because we want to attain this king of coins here let us see what this builder reads because I I like the words here too of this and I I know uh, and for some reason I wrote back in the day universe here so I know that this has value and I, I'd like to just pick the um, Soul's Journey card here because uh, we have a double whammy with potential, you, you know, the young blood doing something significant in your lives here that gives you mastery. And you're a magician at it, too. It's wonderful. Okay. And it says here, loneliness. I know that I am never alone, and that is well said, because you are never alone. Your angels are always around, and that's one thing. You know, you just got to put a big A-S-K, big, bold, put it everywhere in your house to remind you. All you got to do is ask, ask, and they're there, okay? All right, so, but now, loneliness you know, being lonely is one thing. Being alone is one thing. But loneliness is something that isn't on a constant, uh, can race with your mind. So that's why we want to relax the mind and start this meditative awareness so you can tap messages and then they'll, they'll get you out of that funk right away. Okay? And, and we're getting there. We're getting there. So the Prince of Gems is uh, again just confirming for February 2016 for all the readings putting together that money is on the table people no doubt about it uh, but it's up to you to decide uh, what is it that you finally are going to zero in on okay what is it that you're going to find strength with that because it's authentic, it's coming from you. Okay, and then once you have that strength, look at all the coin that's coming. Or, and, and, and then again, even though Earth is a feminine receptive, we can see it's all male action behind it. So it's just like, oops, I'm trying to hold too many at once, but let's just put the king out there so you get what I'm saying. But uh, it's just amazing what can happen now. Okay, and abundance has come through, and with the Empress coming through five times now, it, that's all about abundance, okay, and beauty, and comfort, and luxury, because you've earned it and deserve it. Okay, the Prince of Gems, and he's called the Builder, the Builder. All right, the shield, axe, and staff, the Prince of Gems upright holds symbolizes he is a responsible, trustworthy, and respected member of his kingdom's construction, support, and defense forces. He knows nothing is free, especially the freedom he and his fellow citizens enjoy, and must be built with a strong foundation. He is ambitious and has risen in rank on his own merits. His nakedness symbolizes his purity, health, and self-confidence. He is strong in every way, and his earthly sense of humor hides a serious born from seeing firsthand the realities of life and death. Okay, and again, I just want to say that even though we're reading uh, two prints of gems here, two prints of um, coin with the king, uh, just realize this is all for females too who want to start their own, you know, business kind of scenario or whatever you're building for your family. You will soon either meet or be called upon to display the qualities of a person like the Prince of Gems. This person may be physically strong, assertive, and goal-oriented, 
and are skilled in politics and or organizational dynamics. Your meeting will take place while you or he or she are either working or otherwise taking care of business, possibly the realization of a lucrative new business idea. Okay? And I'm, that's what I'm feeling, people. People starting their own new concept, new, and it's not me saying go out and spend money to start your new business. Just all, you know, do a draft of it. Think about it. Put it in journals and see what happens. See what happens. Honest hard work, property investment, and accumulating a nest egg are important now. Patience is required. Patience is another theme, too, with the temperance. Expect perseverance, sanity, common sense, and groundedness, but not an impulsive, hot affair with this slow but steady person. It will take time for the heart of this reliable, good provider to open. Value true love above gain and possessions. Enjoying earthly delights together will bond and rejuvenate you before you get back to work. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we know that it is about getting to work, getting back to work, okay? Getting back to work. But look, it's going to pay off. It is paying off. And you do have, that, have to have strength and strong will behind you. But uh, Taurus, we know you have that bull in you, and that's very, very positive too. Okay, definitely, uh, you know, and 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 you're you're practical, and and then you're you're sensual too. So it's like you you can, I'm not saying manipulate, but you know how to use the right words at the right time, you know, which is, you know, definitely. Uh, a sexy thing to have, you know, so it's like, just keep doing what you're doing, just, you know, you just always think of Venus power, <laughs> male or female, you know, just Venus, make me sexy this moment, okay, and, and that's what we do, people, and she'll come for you, she'll put a little star around your head, <laughs> make your eyes twinkle at the right time, I know that I am never alone. This card has come to you because you must be reminded that there is a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, which is you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. And that's very true, my dears. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. And I, I totally believe that too. I, I totally believe that. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't use solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path be before you start to shine. Oh, that's sweet. Okay? As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family teachers and guides are with you. You are never alone. And that's so true. You are never alone. Just call on your angels, your guides, you know, grandpapa, you know, you know what we talk about. You, The doggy that you adored. Uh, things like that. But you are never alone. And that is, that's one thing of why spiritual people do have faith and strength. And people wonder, like, wow, where does they gain that strength? Because they know they're not alone, okay? You know, they know that. So they, you know, they stay strong, stand tall, okay? Nice. All right, well, my darlings, you keep going for it. 
uh, magicians that you are, Taurus. And it all starts with baby steps, that first baby step, okay? And I, I behoove you all to just go within and, and feel the strength that will come. And it's so true, though. You have to go within. You have to kind of celebrate time that it's just about you and, and nobody else but you, okay? And that's not anything because uh, your soul and the spirit realm knows that that's exactly what you're doing, connecting, okay? Connecting to that higher realm. So many blessings to you, Taurus, uh, for February. And, and get, get outdoors. That's another big theme. Get outside. Get outdoors. And, and you being an earth uh, realm, you definitely want to take your shoes off and get grounded, okay? But, uh, you know, the, the universe loves you too, so just hold on strong and definitely express your inner voice, Taurus. You, 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 you just have a way about you. You're bold and beautiful and sexy, okay? Love to y'all. Have a wonderful February. Hello to all my new viewers. Thank you. Ciao.